What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday everybody. We're getting the Explorer all loaded up with a bunch of donation stuff. Rather than try to sell it for just a few dollars, we might as well just give it to some people who could use it and appreciate it. Planted seat bracket off the old Sparco and we got the Sparco in the Z now. So got to put some more miles on this thing today, but first we're going to run these uh, donation items over and try to clean up in here a little bit. I noticed some scuff kind of on the door of the Z. I don't know where it came from or what happened. I didn't notice it before, but right there. See that? Weird. Not sure what it is. You get taken care of. Oh yeah, that looks sick. I'm pumped. Some more important parts came in. Fender liners. The rear section on the fender liner so we can finally protect some of the stuff under here. I'm gonna have to figure out something up in here for the front portion. Uh, I just hate having the headlight harnesses and everything exposed in there. Uh, like Tyler said on the video uh, at UMR, he sees them getting torn up all the time when people remove these front portion of the fender liners. But obviously we can't have something hanging down here in the front section when we don't have the bumper. We're going to need fender liners when we get a front bumper eventually, but for right now, just may need to come up with something to add a little barrier in there to protect some of the wiring. Brembo's are looking a bit worn. I know some people are gonna think it's blasphemous, but I'm gonna paint these things. But don't get too crazy because I'm going to paint them gold. This is slightly different gold, and I'm not a huge fan of the salmon decal. So we're gonna do something different there. Maybe some speed culture decals, maybe some Brembo decals just in a different color. Maybe red, we'll see. I put a poll up on YouTube as well to see what color you guys thought I should paint the intake plenum. A bunch of you responded, and I was surprised that a lot of people like black, uh, but there were some uh, good feedback, good input in there, and I think I got a plan for what I'm going to do for that intake plan. I'm just stick around for that. Doing a little work on the Z today, guys. Got her up in the air, taking care of a few things. And one of those things, you guys, if you've been following along, you know that the Tomei exhaust is driving me crazy. So we're pulling that sucker off. Okay, well, that was fast. At least the back section is off. I still want to take that mid pipe off, but here's a look at the Tomei muffler. It's in rough shape. I want to see if I can clean it up. I'm not sure how to polish titanium. Hmm. Break clean the world. I wanted to take this whole thing off because you can see where it's rubbing this heat shield under here. And I have a feeling that's the source of a lot of the rattling that's going on inside the car. And I can't stand it. Uh, so I'm just gonna pump the shit out of this thing and see if that uh, makes a difference. Not sure if I can get to it with it on still. I can't, damn it. Well, can't take a muffler off and not start it. Cold start. I'm actually really surprised that the Tomei does as much as it does. Holy crap, that thing is loud. I can't imagine driving this thing straight pipe. Well, I didn't get it polished up today, but I'm just running out of time. I just gotta get this thing back on. We'll save the cleanup for the next time, but I got the heat shield bent in. Hopefully that was enough to stop the rattling in that mid pipe section, but I guess we'll find out. So here we go, let's get this thing back in. All right, the Tomei is back in. Ugh, looks like crap, but he's back in, tightened up. I rotated a little bit so I give myself a little extra clearance. And of course, we beat the hell out of that heat shield. Uh, so everything is starting to look pretty decent under here. I love the black subframe. I love the gold. 
And you guys got to see that. I will peel the tape off here in a second. Oh, golly, that looks good. Now we definitely got to get the tome cleaned up. Uh, I'm actually going to put some sound deadener under here. So it'll be a nice silver mat of sound deadener. Um, that'll be cool. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that today, too. Uh, let's fire this thing up now with the tome back in. Sorry to disappoint guys, uh, I'm not getting rid of the Tomei yet. And it is indeed to do the Speed Culture single exit because we want to hear it on the 350Z, of course, the DE. Uh, but I really just wanted to get under there. Ultimately, I wanted to clean it up so it actually looked decent, but I wanted to get under there and get that heat shield taken care of because I had a feeling that that's what was rattling. It sounds like just on this quick little startup that that indeed was the reason for the rattle. That's gonna make the driving experience much more pleasing in this car. So, <sighs> unfortunately, didn't mean to disappoint you, <laughs> but we did technically take off the Tomei. So, I guess that's it for now. We wrapped up the axles, wheel hubs, and bearings as well for the rear end 370Z axle upgrade. So that was a pretty cool project. Looking forward to driving this thing now. It shouldn't do, it shouldn't have any binding. Uh, go check that video out if, if it was uploaded. Before this one, I'm not sure if it was, but check it out. I want to show you right here. Look at this axle. There is no way. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm lucky that it nothing more happened. Um, but I've been running on this for like 40 miles or so, 40, 50 miles. Um, and I, I did mention that it was binding a little bit, right? So I have a feeling that this was the issue. Junk. Glad to get these things out car should run much better probably get better cast mileage too actually that cv joint was trash i think we can really get moving with the upgrades now guys i i had the wheels off the rear i should have done brakes but it was just a lot to try to compress into one weekend and then trying to film it all and film like three or four separate videos at the same time is impossible so I'm glad to get the axles and the wheel hubs and bearings done and that's going to be it for now so Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support. Go check out the Sparco seat installation. That thing's looking pretty sick in here too. More good stuff coming for this 350Z, guys. And we can't forget about the Q50 either because I got some plans for this thing too. Oh, it's going to be a busy summer, but I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the continued support. See you in the next one.